not without the help himself. Exactly, exactly. Tell the story, Jason Cross. All right, so uh, I go do a guest spot with him. We're in uh, Jersey. We're in Jersey, right? And, uh, we do two shows, whatever. These white chicks come up after the show. These aren't the chicks we fuck, mind you. But... <laughs> One of them really wanted to fuck with me, so we're like, oh, you're going to come back or whatever. You know, so I'm talking to her, and then Patrice come in and intervene in the whole thing. He's like, bitch, you want to give him some pussy or not? We ain't get a whole day. <laughs> <laughs> which is, which is class. That's class classic Patrice. Classic Patrice. And I'm squared in a motherfucker there, so I'm like, oh. <laughs> you know? And I'm like, okay, and then she's like, yeah, I definitely want to come back, but my friend, her friend was like, do what you want. It's your life. Now, these two white chicks, and he was like, what the fuck kind of racist shit is that? It's your life. <laughs> And it was a real thing. Like, if you want to fuck niggers, yeah. it's your life. That's what he pretty much said to her. Go, it's essentially, like, do you want to go back and shoot heroin? Do, hey, it's <laughs> she your was life. really like, it's, it's your, your life. life. And this was a thick bitch, too. The, the, the fucking racist one. Real thick, wow, yeah. Jersey Shore looking bitch. Yeah. This nigga tell her, turn around. He's like, oh, you got an ass on you, bitch. And start just chunking, grabbing her ass. Oh. You know it's a pinch, and then when you grab a chunk, that nigga <laughs> grabbed a chunk like and bounced it up and down. Mind you, that chick just found me on Facebook. We still talk, man. She, okay. she in Arizona right now. With the attractive one or the... The chunky. Both the chunky of them was attractive. One. No, the one that wanted to bang me, but her friend fucking just cock-blocked the shit out of me. But, but uh, just uh, she, you're saying she was chunky, but not... No, not chunky. Like, he grabbed... A t- like he the, grabbed, like, four or five Kim pounds of ass. ass. Say her ass 10 pounds. He grabbed, like, six Harry, ass. let me explain oh, this. You can pinch an ass... And then you can grab a handful yeah, where the right, ass right, is right, 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 right. You want them overflowing like, over the thumb. You ever pick up a leg weight? The it's way like you got a leg weight folded. And like, the way <laughs> the guy at the deli weighs the exactly. how much turkey yeah. meat is on the thing. He just jiggles it up. Just got <laughs> chunk. <laughs> Then, all right, so we like, all right, you know how when, you know every comic know this after the show, too, when you're looking for some pussy. Yeah. And then you be like, anybody else upstairs? <laughs> 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 then you realize the club is round. empty. Yeah, you're looking for around. scragglers. Yeah. And then the, the, the month before that, I was uh, down near the shore in Jersey doing the show. And I'm like, all right, man, I know this chick uh, banged or whatever. She was asking me for my underwear or whatever. That can't be that far away. It's like two hours away. So I call her. Was like, yo, you want to come out? Me and my boy doing a show. Now, I want you to oh, notice how easily he says, yeah, she was asking me for my underwear. Yeah, like, she, was, she was like, yo, can I have your underwear? And, yeah. like, I'm very paranoid because I either think, like, rape case, fake pregnancy, or some STD or some shit. So I just, like, slowed down. But, like, back then, you know, I was like, fuck it. You know, give me $5. You can have them. Because, you know, I was just going to Because, you know, you're, you're, you're a comic, so it's like you either buy a it CD. It was $10 a pack, so I figured <laughs> right. I'd make a $5 profit so off of it. So you're selling drawers instead of CDs. Right. All right, whatever, yeah, moving yeah, on. You get a gimmick at your merch table. <laughs> it's a fucking <laughs> merch. His merch table is yeah. drawers. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, so you call uh, it that that in a bad $7 idea. $7 for the clean drawers. <laughs> 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 Actually, it's seven for the dirty ones. Right. Seven for the dirty ones, less for Good. the clean ones. Finish the story. Finish so the they come out to the second show. They come out to the second show. They just out there. Chicks yeah, and they made it with like five minutes of the show to come out. And they okay. love Patrice Closer. I think he was doing a... Uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't yeah, matter. whatever Some at the funny time. Shit, yeah. Amazingly funny so, shit. Something about did. women being stupid. <laughs> Pretty much. Yada, yada, yada. Yada. The dumber he called them, the more they clapped. They were like, yeah, we some dumb bitches. <laughs> and they were clapping. Et cetera, et cetera. So, <laughs> so we go down, talk to them, and then uh, I forgot how we We just talked to them, and then they end up coming back, following so us to his crib. Two hours. Yeah, two hours, man. Two sisters and shit. And we were, they drove behind us in the car, and he was cracking up. He probably like, yo, these bitches hoes, ain't they? They probably the, the whole sisters in their town. Like, you know the hoes everybody know, the Johnson sisters. <laughs> Call up the Johnson sisters. So we take <laughs> we take them in there. I already knew which one. You know, and it wasn't one of those things where you have to figure out who's going to fuck who because right. I already knew which one I was with or whatever. So he takes the other one in the room. You know, I knew I was hooked up with the other one. So Separate rooms, yeah. Yeah, because we was at his place. He took one in his bedroom, and I was on the front room on the couch with the do other black one. black people do that same room fuck? Yeah, we won't do that. Uh, you won't do that, or you will? Yeah. Yeah, we would. It almost, it almost turned into that, because, like... It seems like every one of Norton's stories, or Florentine and Boss, they're all fucking... <laughs> same room fucking? Yeah, it's always the same that's, fucking room. That's really a comic thing, and not, really a, a, not really a black white thing. It's a comic thing, <laughs> yeah. having to share the fucking room. Yeah, but you know... No, it, it ain't even about that. It's about the story. Yeah, like, yeah. yo, son, this yeah. nigga stroke is way off. <laughs> <laughs> But now he take in the room, and then something happened where he pulled his side out, because I hear, like, he go in the room with the bitch. Next thing I hear is, <laughs> mm-hmm. Then I hear, ah, ah, ah. 
<laughs> you know, and then I don't hear nothing. So, you know, I'm fucking this chick on the floor. And you know how you feel eyes looking at you? Like, I'm fucking it. And I would look up and I look. And then I just see, like, two separated teeth and some eyes looking at me. <laughs> and look up and see this nigga smiling. Like, that's what he told you. Remember? He's yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. got to see Lenny Kravitz fucking fat bitch on the floor. <laughs> and he looking and I stopped. He's like, what? You camera shy, nigga? Because <laughs> I've never banged a bitch in front of a dude before that point. How did he come into this? Just open the door. He's in the bedroom. He just dildoed that bitch. She squirted, and then he left her in there. (laughs) (laughs) But now, how did you? How did you get her? Did you just brought him and just like this is going down? They knew what was going on. Yeah, because I was like this one man, and he pulled her in the room because I was like, I'm taking her in there. Then you know the other one, I just had her. She was gone, son. She was gone. So you know I'm fucking on the floor. I. Then he kind of started smiling. And he was like, yo, show me some tricks or some shit. Something really crazy like that. I'm like, huh, like, put a leg like this, like this. And he was like, ah, nigga, you whack. So I keep fucking. The next thing I hear, oh. Like, I felt like I lost the audience and shit. You know, like when you have a good set and you kill it, then all of a sudden you're like, what? What'd I say? Is it something I said? Well, you, you mean her attention as far as? No, he his. Lost I lost Patrice. his. He and I felt was, bad, too. because I He was actually performing for Patrice. I really started before. I forgot all about the bitch, because like, after he left, I'm like, damn, nigga, I done fucked up the show. <laughs> I lost them. Damn. I lost them. So Shit, I'm bombed. Like, I come, then I'm like, okay, fuck it. The party's on. Uh-huh. So I come, I put on my drawers, whatever, then, you know, everybody kind of laughing. The chick he was with still in the room and the one I'm with in the room. So uh, he come out there. We all three sit on the couch, and the chick he's with in the other room. And uh, I leave him and a girl. I just fucking sit <laughs> talking on the couch. And then you hear and click, I go click. To, No, I just close the door and go in, yup. And then I'm talking to the chick. He just deal, though. And then next, I hear in the other room where I was just at. Ah, click, click. Ah, ah. And now, like her, it was her sister. She wouldn't fuck me for nice. She had a nice ass too. But she, she wouldn't fuck you. She wouldn't. Now, let, let me she just say like, that. No, my sister like you, and I just hooked up with your boy. And and I remember because I fingered <laughs> her and voice. grabbed her ass, and she had great pussy hairs. And me and Patrice <laughs> cracked about this for hours after. He's like, dude. After they left, he's like, this bitch had oh, great God. fucking pussy hairs. 